Welcome back to the channel, Free Thinkers. You know, as we follow these breadcrumbs of wealth, I want you guys to keep this in mind that wealth, obtaining this wealth that, are, that we're all going for, it's not about the money. Let me say that again. The wealth that we're trying to obtain and that we are going to obtain, it's not about the money. That's not wealth. Wealth is getting to a point in your life, in the position to where you control your time. That's all it's about. The reason we follow the breadcrumbs to wealth is so that we can have the time to do whatever it is we want to do whenever we want to do it. Welcome back to the channel, guys. All right. Now, today we're about to talk about a new position. I took uh, a position in this token. Not a lot. When I say not a lot, I mean not a lot. But I did put a little bit of money into it yesterday after doing some research and this is one of those projects where i'm going to continue doing research on it and i'm going to continue covering it because i like it i really really like it this this uh this token actually was suggested by one of our members one of our community members eddie who the guy who brought us to doom and gloom about the uh, bull run? But anyway, I'm just that's the inside joke. Anyway, he's been, you know, dare I say, you know, telling me, hounding me every <laughs> other video. Man, you need to check out Dia, Dia or Dia, how, however you want to pronounce it. I'm gonna say Dia. Uh, you need to check this token out, man. I'm telling you, you need to check this token out. He's been telling me this for months now. I want to say. And, you know, I have a lot of tokens that I do look at as well as my own. And that takes a lot of work. I told you guys, when you get off into plays, you always want to make sure that the plays that you get off in, you're going to set some time aside to continue researching those plays so that you know if something happens, you might have to either move your money or a reason to just scale back on your DCN. So, you know, anyway, community member, and I welcome all you guys to do this too. I, although I don't have time to look at every token, this is one I did take the time to look at. And I was impressed. I didn't see a whole lot about it around, but I did see a lot of information. These guys are not new in the game, guys. And um, this is not financial advice. Whenever I cover tokens, it is not financial advice. These are just plays that I'm looking at and plays that I feel like is worth your investment um, research time. So, I uh, guys, we're going to talk about this one. Uh, and I do have it on my list. I did put a little bit of money in. I will probably put more in depending on how far it drops. And, um, yeah, uh, let's go for the ride on this one, guys, because I think this is a great opportunity for uh, some money. Some serious money to be made. And, you know, nowadays I'm looking at them plays that's going to be around and that have a long-term lifespan in this uh, crypto market. And with that being said, guys, we're going to jump over here. But uh, for all the new subscribers, I'm going to thank you for uh, signing up. Make sure you smash that like button. It does wonders for the community and it helps us grow in the end and it makes my time worth it. Uh, check out all the uh, deals that I have below on um cold storage wallets make sure you get you one and a, a, a host of other products as well margex is one i've really been playing with you can get a, a nice uh bonus if you sign up with my link down below all right guys with that being said let's jump over here and let's review us a token please bear with me guys i was having streaming issues so that's why the, the video jumped but anyway so I'm excited about this project, Dia, and uh, if you look here, a lot of you guys seeing this red, get used to it. That's what's going on in the entire market, but these guys have been around since 2018, although the, the token wasn't made available for people to invest until 2020. They've seen a bull run, and at a high, they made it to $5.79. And there's reason for that, I believe, after just... Uh, 
digging into their technology and looking at the space that we find ourselves in right now with crypto. They have 200 million uh, tokens all together, just period. And right now, uh, they have circulating over half that. These guys uh, are on the ERC-20. Uh, they are part of the Ethereum chain. Look out a year. If you go a year here and look out, you'll see that we, we, we missed it, mainly because of me. <laughs> but again, you, you know, things happen. I want to say that uh, my community member told me about it somewhere back in August, I want to say. Yeah, probably August. And it was probably 20-something cent, and it rose up to, at the very high, 81 cent. But fear not, guys. This is one of those projects, I believe, that have some longevity. I really like them. Uh, we come down here, and I want to tell you about them. And honestly, I'm going to read just part of this. And I'm going to be honest. A lot of this is going to go over a lot of you guys' heads. And that's why I'm going to go somewhere else and show you from the founder basically what this project is. Because I know it's a lot of beginners here. I'm just going to keep it real. Okay, what is what is Dia? It's a decentralized information asset. It's an open source Oracle platform that enables market actors to source, supply, and share trustable di data. Dia aims to be the ecosystem for open financial data and a financial smart contract ecosystem, which is great, to bring together data analysts, data providers, and data users. All of that is great, guys. I'm going to be honest with a lot of you guys don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So if you're reading, and this is great research, if you're reading, don't just stop there. If you're doing research, you want to go down a little bit and say, okay, who is the founders? And a lot of this is here. It's already here for you. You can go down, and I'm on Coin Market Cap, guys. And you can come down. You say, who are the founders? This is the important factors. The Dia Association was co-founded by a group of a dozen people, though Paul Claudius, Michael Weber, and Samuel Brack are the leaders. Claudius is the face of the project and its lead advocate, sometimes also mentions as the CBO. He has a master's degree in international management from ESCP Europe and a bachelor's in business and economics from Paso University. Now, all that's great. This is what you want to see. You want to see that these guys have a background in this stuff and that they know what they're talking about. So, I stopped right there being he is the face. I went over to LinkedIn because I like to know who's who's running the company. Kind of like we did with uh, ICP and Demetrius and everything. I wanted to see if this guy, being that they had ICP vibes, I wanted to see if he had that type of drive that uh, the ICP's founder had. So I got over here and I checked it out. I went down. I said, okay, he's been doing this six years, 10 months. Great. That's all great news. I like to know that this ain't your first rodeo or that even though you didn't just go to the moon the first time in the um, the first crypto cycle you went through, the bull run, you didn't stop there because it's, it's more than the price. It's what are you guys bringing to the um uh, to the community so i went down i checked up in here guys and um i was like okay he gave a great and and this is why i wanted to jump over here because i think he gave a great description of what dia is he says it's an open source financial information provider built for and by the community a friendly crossbreed of wikipedia github and Bloomberg, rebuilding trust in the financial markets and digital assets in particular, board member of Dia Association. I say, okay, there it is right there. You guys are aiming to be the Wikipedia, GitHub, and Bloomberg. Great, great. So we've identified that's what they, they are. So then I went down a little bit more and I seen his background. I said, this is great. This is all great. This guy's not his first rodeo. I'm going to pin that down below. So we jump over here, guys. And, um, where you can buy it i bought some on coinbase which is great that they're on coinbase but they're pretty much everywhere i don't believe i saw them on crypto.com but they were on coinbase which i thought is great i went and i picked up some they're up currently within the year 143 percent i think that's great i think it's still more growth to be had because again this is still a small 
uh, cap token, which makes it riskier. But at the same time, remember what I said about research. Risk research takes out the risk, and they're still they're at a sixty six million dollar market cap, which means there's tons of growth. This thing is really just getting started. I love the climate that we're in right now. I feel like the reason that they didn't do as well the first time is because crypto to moved. Think about where crypto was and where crypto is now, where Web3 is coming in at and with real world assets. These guys working with all of that. So I feel like this time around, they're going to break that 579 all time high that they had. How much they break it is still undetermined right now because, again, I still have to dig into this token some more. But I wanted to bring it, put it on your radar. Now, from there, I'm going to jump over here to their website. Because I found some more information over there, and I thought it was really, really cool. It's a lot to unpack on these guys. I'm not going to make this long, though, because I'm going to give you guys this, the information down below where you can get in as well and check out some of this. So I went over here, and I looked at the blockchain networks, and I said, guys, look at all the people that they do business with. They go base. They go Arbitrum. These guys are plugged. Binance, which is the big dog. Ethereum, Fathom, Fuse. Guys, Kadena, those of you who've been in crypto a while, you know who these names are. Near, they've actually, uh, just what, three years ago, I want to say in 2021, they, they, they entered into a partnership with Fet AI. A lot of you guys are just hearing about Fet AI, and I looked back, I was like, man, they, 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 they was getting business with them. You got Polkadot, you got Optimism, these guys are here, guys. So I love that. I love that. And I went over here to the dApps. I checked out their dApps right here. They did centralized apps. And guys, these guys are here. Look at all of you. See all these familiar names? See all these familiar names? Guys, they, they, I like it. I like what I saw. And then from there, I went and I said, let me, let me check over here real quick in their white papers. Let's see what we got going on here. And I saw this RWA. And of course, this look at RWA and where we're going with real world assets. So I'm like, man, this is it. This is really, really it. Let me go back here though. Because this gave a little bit more. This this right here. What is Dia? Dia is a trustless Oracle network that delivers data feeds for any token, LST, RWA, random numbers, and more to any blockchain. So I like that. They're being used. The network is permissionless, enabling nodes and stakers to participate in distributed data sourcing secured by crypto economic and cryptographic mechanisms. See, so this is really, really great. People can, you can buy the tokens, you can stake the tokens. Again, like ICP, but they're different. So I went over here and I checked out this right here. And I said, man, RWA price fees. How are they working with RWAs, real world assets? This is how. Dia supplies smart contracts with accurate real-time price fees for 20,000 plus tra traditional financial assets like stocks, commodities, and more. Dia harnesses the power of numerous financial data sources, providing verifiable, accurate, and unbiased pricing information guys this is this is it the pricing oracle enables the creation of on-chain applications including but not limited to financial derivatives stable coins prediction markets and tokenized real world assets guys guys this one right here i'm going to continue going through but i like it i like it i feel like this is one that's worth everyone's time. It's one that you should look into. Right now, you know, a lot of people might be looking at this. Again, I look at this as a affordable token for someone who doesn't have a lot of money to spend, or if you have a lot of money to spend. This is one you put fifty hundred dollars in and you could see yourself. This is not financial advice. It never is. But this is the things I do. You put fifty hundred dollars in, maybe even twenty five dollars, and you can make some money. You can make some money. What you do with that money is up to you. But you can also take that money and you can deploy and maybe buy something else, invest in something else. Or if you really believe in a project like that, believe it's going to be around long term, this is something you can DCA in. I really wish I'd have got back in it way back then. 
but I didn't. But again, look at what's going on in the Middle East right now. A lot of that's affecting this price. And uh, why I feel like they didn't make it to to those just large numbers is, one, we didn't have RWAs back then either. <clears throat> Crypto was still one of those, not that it's not speculative today, but now we have ETFs. We have all of these things that is driving crypto to the public. So you look at what ICP is doing. You look at people like this and what they're doing. It's more now. It's, it's, it's one of those things people can look at and say, yeah, I can rock with that. I can digest that. Yeah, I can see that being around long term, considering where we're going with Web3 and the Internet space. I can see these guys, why they would be useful. Why? I mean, just putting them in the realm of RWA just makes them useful all right there. And you see all the partnerships they got on there. I didn't go through all the partnerships, but I saw that they did pretty much everybody that I named on there and that I showed you, they, they're working with or work with in some capacity. So I just think it's really one that you guys can look at, start DCAing in. Of course, this is not financial advice, but I think it's worth your time, guys. I don't know. You let me know down below. Do you hold Dyer? Do you hold it? Is this something that you feel like has some staying power and something that you can see yourself DCAing in? Or if you're somebody from the community that already hold Dyer, I know one of our, our um, community members do, you know, what are some things that you feel like should be talked about with them? This, this, I like them. And it's something I am um, actively going to start DCAing in some more. So you guys let me know down below. To the next one, guys. Be responsible. Do your own research. Just because somebody talks about a token does not necessarily mean it's a great investment for you. Do your research. Decide if it's something for you. And see if you can make some money. All right, guys. To the next one, I'm out.